All right, I made an update on this inverter generator I made. I added this 10 ohm potentiometer made by Ohmite. I had an issue before, and the issue was that if I decide to use the inverter without using the engine running to charge the battery, say I let a, like a TV on for an hour with a lamp, when I go to turn on the, the engine to get the alternator going to charge the battery, that the load is a pretty big load because it's sensing the voltage drop from the battery from using it and the alternator kind of it goes into like a mode of putting out like full power to recharge and what that'll do is it'll bog down the engine here and I needed a way to be able to adjust how much current can go in from the alternator to the battery because if you let the inverter run for a while what's going to happen is you're going to drain this battery down pretty far depending on how long you use it and then when you go to start the engine up this is going to be this shaft is going to be tight on the alternator because there's a lot of current going into the rotor energizing the magnetic field which in turn creates more current coming out of the stator into the battery so i needed a way to regulate how much current goes into the rotor because what determines how much comes out is how much current goes into the rotor. So what I did is I added this 10 ohm control right here. So all the way to the right is full power on the generator, on the alternator. And you push it all the way this way. All right. Right now, that basically turns this off. Very little current comes out of it. So I could plug in a refrigerator right now turn this on and this will go full scale for the surge now ordinarily a refrigerator is pretty hard for me to turn over with this machine I have to actually give the engine more gas like really race it to get past that surge otherwise it'll stall because there's so much of a load on the battery and the alternator is trying to compensate so it stalls the engine out unless I give it more gas but now since I added this control right here I could turn it to half power and then I could turn on the switch. The refrigerator will come on. You'll hear the engine drop, but it will not get low enough where it's going to stall out because I'm uh, adjusting how much current goes into the rotor right here. Once it gets past the point of where it surges, then I could just go boom, turn it all the way down to the right. Now I'm running full power to the rotor like I'm not even interfering with the circuit. It's really handy to have and it's easy to do. Take the cover off. Take one of the wires going to the brush on the rotor. There's two going to like a, a commutator which feeds the rotor. Just take one wire to the brush, cut it. One of these is leaving the br uh, brush and one of these is leaving the regulator. And it just goes into the potentiometer and it feeds back. So I'm regulating how much current goes into the rotor. Works perfectly. I could run a lot of things now that I really couldn't start before because the engine would stall I could just turn it to there start the engine up turn on the load it'll drop the engine a little bit but once it starts and it get, once it gets past the surge just flick this back boom now you're on full power and you won't have any problems I could also drain the battery down pretty far by just using the uh, inverter without the engine running and this will give me the ability because normally if I did that when I turn this uh, generator on, this could be such a load on the um, alternator to feed the battery back up, it's going to stall the engine out. No matter how much gas I get, it's going to stall it out. But with this, just turn it halfway, turn it on, and you'll hear the engine bogging, like not bogging down, but slowing up because this is putting out current. And I can gradually turn this to the point where I think the engine's fine without stalling and it'll charge this battery all the way back up. This is very handy to have on this whole operation I got here. Works great. And I found this at an old power plant from a uh, abandoned Navy base. And that was it. The wires that feed the brush are very thin. They're only like 18 gauge. So I use like 12, uh, I think this is 
16, 16 gauge. The wire does these the the wires feeding the rotor doesn't draw that much current. It only draws like three amps maybe or four. And this doesn't get hot the slightest bit. Tested, proven, works great. Full regulation over the alternator's output besides the built-in regulator.